I'm your part Spiegel, and I'm your part Kim, and welcome to the third new episode of Taraki Talks. And for this time, we're going to serve you another learning from our new guest. Hi, kaya maganda yung aming kasuotan niya kahapon. Uh, courtesy yan ng ating guest for this afternoon. Kaya before natin mag-start ng conversation, I'd like to introduce you now our guest for this afternoon. So, our guest for today is a very well-rounded person and has been sharing his skills to various organizations. You know, Paris, he, been, uh, he has been working in different hotels and schools, or in short, he is as well a teacher. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. And he honed his skills uh, through these experiences that he had until he became one of the most renowned tour guides here in the Highlands. He's the president also of the tour guide organization in Puerto Vieira and a member of Micro Small Medium Enterprise for Entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. All right? That's a din siyang, yeah, isa din siyang mentor ng Go Negosyo. I love it. Yes, Go Negosyo organization. And he also has an artistic persona, which I like very much, as you can see with our outfit for this afternoon. All right. And then he became, uh, he also opened his own line, which is called Pulipung Arts and Crafts. Parts. Let us all welcome our guest this afternoon. Manong Ariel Layuga. So, welcome. Hello. Talaga Manong Manong Inya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We know you're very busy, but uh, thank you for including us in your schedule. Yes, yes. Pero sa kagaling kanina, parang binagyo ka. Joke lang. Pwede nga kami dapat. Kamo sa nando sa ito? Well, uh... It's quite uh, busy for, though it's pandemic, but uh, we have to find ways on how to survive. Uh, and uh, wow, the introduction is quite, uh, I don't know if I can, I, can, uh, <laughs> I can match the introduction of what I'm going to say to you right now. But anyway, uh, thank you very much, Saraki TV, for inviting me. Uh, anyway. Uh, for the past two years, you're the first uh, blogger or group, a group to, to, to invite me on an interview like this. And uh, I'd like to say thank you very much because, again, I have an avenue or we have an avenue for us to uh, showcase and to learn and at the same time to talk things uh, under the sun, even any topics under the sun. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, uh, once again, I'm Ariel Layugan. Well, yung sinabi ni Kent, no, hindi ko, hindi ko maano kung saan ako mag-uumpisa doon. Uh, yes, I, I, I was a trainer, I was uh, of hotel and restaurant services. I was a bartender at the same, uh, I was a bartender in Singapore, in, in, even here in, in, in our local. Uh, then, maybe... I am more of an uh, adventurous type of person because I don't stick to one. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 so, uh, 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 Jack of all trades, master of none. Well, parang ang gusto ko kasi I don't like to master and venture and to be stick in one uh, skill alone. I, we were blessed with so many skills. I believe. I believe. I believe in that. God bless so, us so much, and uh, we are only tapping not even ten percent of our skills. And me, to be, uh, let's say, chained or imprisoned in one skill or one talent, is I believe uh, not on my vocabulary, because I'm the type of person that uh, who, who who would like to <laughs> who would like to learn. A bit of that, a bit of those, then uh, gathering things, then honing it on my own skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that I can call it on my own. Right. It seems like you're really an adventurous type of person. Something like that, yeah. So, Anya Ngayot, Manong Tipon. Can we call you Manong Ngayot? Sure, yes. All right. <laughs> so, Manong, first question. Uh, we would like to know about the political practicing arts. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, we would like to know sana kung uh, DJ ay pa uh, as lang inspiration niyo pa pa na why did you open such um, or business something like that. Yeah. Uh, 
Kulibang, um, if I'm not mistaken, na Kulibang was born around 2015 or 2014, something like that. No? Uh, me and my wife were looking for an extra income where we can, uh, you know, uh, have, what do you call this? We, we, we don't just like to sit and wait for something or someone to come and, and give us something. What we would like to do is to create something that uh, we could call our own. And since me and my wife, Michelle, uh, is also into uh, business because uh, she's a graduate of uh, uh, commerce, and I myself as a, a, a what do you call this semi artist or something? <laughs> if there's such a word for this, you know, artist today. Uh, I like to do things. I like to do craft. Well, first I, I, I do the. I was the first to do bone carving. Oh, nice! Yes, the bone carving was actually it started way back 2011, when uh, one of our activities was in Baguio City, and uh, during our lunch we were given a a, a, a bulalu soup, of course with with with, with all those meats. <laughs> And then I just uh, saw the bones discarded and said, what could I do something about this that it would make uh, this more uh, attractive or useful aside from it is discarded into the uh, garbage or to the, for the, for the uh, animals. Yeah. Then I, 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 when I browsed the internet, there was a clamor about the, what they call this, the horns of the rhino or the ivory, the ivory war in, in Africa and in, in other parts of, uh, of, our, uh, of the world. So it is my silent protest that uh, poaching ivory is actually illegal and it's dangerous and it's actually making our uh, animals endangered. That's right. Yeah, uh, Kaya ngayon yung inano ko, sabi ko, this would be my silent protest para doon ako gagawa na lang ako ng mga crop uh, make out, made out of bones na supposed to be discarded pero nagagamit pa. And luckily, I, was, I wasn't wearing one. But uh, uh, few, few of my items were uh, exhibited in uh, Rustans. Yes, and, 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 and yes, yeah. Resonance Manila. Then uh, others are uh, exhibited that during the opening of the Baguio Festival in Baguio City. So until now, because oh, there are Baguio right? Actually, we were the first to, to uh, exhibit and we were uh, the one who yes. opened uh, the Baguio Festival uh -huh. in Baguio City. Yeah. Yes. And then, uh, to cut a long story short, it started there and then my wife came in. And he said, uh, if that's uh, what you're doing, if you, uh, I'd like to do as well the, the, the clothing. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, sabi nga niya, uh, ang daming mga, ano, daming magandang, uh, weave products ang Cordillera, pero hindi na ma-maximize. So, me meron lang tayong konting mga nagpuproduce ng mga items, mm -hmm. the, the, the likes of Nardas, is the weaving, no? Pero yung mga ibang, gun kasi, uh, marami pa namang pwedeng gumawa at makagawa din kasi hindi ko first major product ni yung mga accessories yes yes our and then, then it then to to clothing yes clothing lines uh, hopefully uh, magtuloy-tuloy uh, na rin to we are also making bags yes uh, designer bags yan and then uh, of course Kasi ang kalimitan din na naman kasing napapansin uh, nila every time na gagawa tayo ng mga bags is Sagada Weaving Bags, yes? Yes, uh, yeah. Y yung mga ganun lang, no? That's why I joined the MSME. Uh, Doon naman papasok yung MSME uh, mentorship. I was once a mentee. Then until such time that uh, uh, yung mga natutunan ko dun sa mentoring sessions, now I'm applying it. Uh... How many years can you say MSM? Actually, it's only 10 sessions. Uh, 10 meetings. Yeah, 10 sessions, but different uh, topics. Uh, 
BTI would invite uh, and screen uh, possible, uh, what do you call this, uh, participants from different uh, sectors like the food processing, wet, and uh, wet. Uh, wet, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> food processing, vegetables, and then uh, the craft, the, the, the even hand, uh, what do you call this, so lahat home decor. So lahat, ng, ano, lahat ng sectors ang, ang, ang kasali. And I am in the fashion industry, so do naman ako napunta. And uh, I'm really thankful of the program of this uh, mentor me ng BTI, kapatid mentor me of BTI, you know, because it is helping and it's bringing out the potential of the young entrepreneurs. And it is really what we need right now in in, in, in in this time of pandemic, actually. Yun. So for now, ilang members ang meron sa MSC? Uh, I'm not pretty, pretty sure on how much uh, or how many how many are the members because uh, there are different batches and we were the sec- second batch. We were okay, the second batch. Okay. Uh, la- last 2017. 2017. Yes, yes. Uh, that was last uh, 2017. We were the second batch. Second batch? Ah, first? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Uh, how about your concert? Uh, Kanina, I was listening to how you used the bowl snipe mm-hmm. uh, in your craft. What were the challenges that you have experienced in, you know, in promoting this maybe? Or, yeah, and showing it to... Uh, yeah, okay. You said it's a silent protest. Uh, uh, ang pinakauna kasi is uh, nung, gina, nung gagawin ko yung bones, I don't have any idea on how to do it. Right. The process on how to clean it mm-hmm. and how to preserve. Because uh, even if you say, if you, you wash the, the, the bones, after a while, it will have still the stench mm-hmm. of the, the, the uh, cow's uh, smell. So... <clears throat> through research and uh, trial and error still uh, for me as much as possible I don't like to make use synthetic materials or synthetic uh, uh, chemicals so I use nature as well uh, that's why a lot of uh, friends are asking how do you remove the uh, remaining meat on the bones so, well <laughs> Uh, very, nature is very helpful in doing in, in, in helping me. Why? I'll just leave the uh, bones uh, on a dirt or on a soil or on, on, on a cement. Then my helpers will come in. Mm. Who are they? The ants. Uh, the an- the, yes. The ants. The, the, yes. The ants will slowly pinch inch by inch or small pieces of pieces will remove the, the remaining uh, meat on, 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 on the bones. Then after a while, you will be noticing that the bones are already uh, clean. Oh, yeah. nang, nang natitirang, even the marrow, even the, the, the marrow inside, wala na, no? Ma, mawawala yun kasi kukunin at kukunin nun eh. Like usually how many days? Uh, it will take, uh, depending sa dami, pero usually dun sa isang kilo, it will take you only four days to, ano. Oh, yeah. oh, Ang bilis oh, nga nilang magtrabaho, kaya sabi ko salamat. Yeah. But the, tra- the, 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 the uh, ang pinakamahirap dito is yung paano tanggalin yung lansa at yung amoy. Uh, uh, I, during my research, nakita ko dun sa internet, Ang ginagawa nila sa China was, uh, kasi sila gumagawa rin ng majong pieces, no? And then yung ginagamit nila dati kasi sa uh, mga bones din. And they, they, they put gasoline. Uh, to to, 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 to the, the, the smell. Uh, ganun yung ginagawa nila. <sighs> A break daw. Akala ko break na eh. <laughs> 10 minutes, okay. Yeah. That's very interesting, right? So maybe... Sa tourism park ngayon naman. Oh, kasi you're one of the in-demand <laughs> third guys here. Not only in Vegeta, um, full Cordillera. Pag uh, pupunta dito, matatawag at matatawag ka, sir. And meron pa kayo, narinig ko ah, not, uh, not that you're saying. Uh, talagang dinideclaim mo na yung ibang offer. Kaya naman kung pwede dyan na, papunito na lang. <laughs> well, uh, again, uh, salamat pa rin din naman sa Department of Tourism, no? 
I uh, joined at the, the training 2016. Uh, we were the last batch of uh, the regional trainees of uh, tour guides in the Cordillera. There were, uh, the process was actually tedious because you need to submit the proposal, name, then after submission, you will be screened through panel of interviews. Wow. Yes, you will be interviewed. Yeah, by, <laughs> when, when, when I stepped into the room, there were four of them. Sabi ko, who are these people? Sabi ko, pero sabi naman na, they, they, they will be your, uh, they will be the one interviewing you. Uh -huh. uh, Hindi naman siya mahirap, pero talagang nakakakabat first, no? Because there were so many of us uh, around the... Uh, kasi di, all over Cordillera yan. Yes. Uh, every province or every municipality will uh, choose one or will, uh, uh, what do you call this, sponsor one to, to, to join. So ikaw from... Uh, La Trinidad, province of Benguet. Benguet. Yes, yes. Uh, so you're only one? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Basically, here in Benguet, we are one, two, three. Uh, in our batch, uh, we are six. Okay. We are six. Uh, in La Trinidad, we are five. Oh, oh, yeah. We are five in La Trinidad. And then, luckily, uh, sorry to tell you, but one of our colleagues, uh, Miss Maika yeah. Amlag, just passed away due to. Uh, uh, pandemic, COVID, COVID pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's actually one of the active uh, guide here in Benguet as as well, no. And not only here in Cordilleras. No, uh, pertaining to the one that you say that I am. The <laughs> well, it's not that. It's not that. Uh, it's not that I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe because uh, uh, this different tour operators and organizations outside of Cordillera, uh, maybe, maybe they, they, they show something in me that they, they, they can say that um, eto, etong taon to, pwede nyo kunin because I vouch for this person. But actually, our training was the same because it was only one agency and it's only one uh, department. So, pare-pares naman yung training. It so happen lang na Siguro I, I, I became the top one <laughs> or top of our class because maybe I was, you know, I, I, I room around. Right. Uh, yeah, because I travel and something, <laughs> something like that. That's why, uh, and those travel, uh, in those, uh, no, uh, biahe at saka travel, uh, some were retaining me. Uh, I can, I can, yeah, yeah. Then, I can relate to our training. That's why maybe that's uh, how they choose me as one of the top one or the, the top of our so, class. Is that in the pinakalabeko ang yung pandemic after the recent area? Mm. Yeah. So, paano yun? Lalo na sa inyong mga tour guides. Uh, how did it affect sa inyong mga tour guides? Yeah, it's very ano nga eh, very uh, uh, napakasakit. Actually, I don't. I, Gang gusto kong ayaw 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 ko na sana ng isipin but uh, I cannot deny the fact I cannot deny the fact that I am a part of this uh, industry and I'm a big uh, ano uh, sabi ko uh, how can we cope up that's why and uh, I'm very thankful that uh, still uh, our government are finding ways to help uh, my colleagues in our industry especially as tour guides uh, kasi nga uh, we are commission basis Yes. We are not uh, paid by the government. We are not oh, paid. Uh, yeah. This a monthly pay. Yes, I, we are freelance. Oh. Uh, most of us are freelance, so we are not uh, uh, connected with the tour agency or company that uh, being paid for for a day. Uh, kung meron lang tour, do lang kami pwedeng makakuha. Yan. But uh, yun nga, uh, because of this pandemic, nagcancel lahat ng tours na. Lahat nag reschedule at hindi alam kung kailan babangon. That's why uh, me and my colleagues we keep on in contact. Sabi ko sa kanila na we need to find ways on how to how to uh, survive. Na sabi ko if there's a, uh, areas na pwede yung gawin uh, away from uh, tour guiding na pwede kayo mag uh, benefit then do it. Kasi uh, for now talagang we are zero, we are nothing. So, yun, yun yung uh, sinasabi ko sa mga sawi as just giving them some 
what do you call this motivation ba yeah. na not to give up kasi uh, i was uh, receiving some ano some grievances that uh, our some of our colleagues are actually uh, declining uh, they don't want to go through uh, uh, tour guiding again uh-huh. sabi nila ayaw na namin kasi wala naman na wala oh so, yun yung ginagawa namin i'm reaching out to them uh, hindi lang sa paisa-isa but through organizations as well kaya nga sabi ko din pinipilit ko rin yung ating uh, ano hindi naman sa pinipilit but uh, i'm requesting uh, giving uh, letters or some suggestions to our tourism officers in the province na ganito like yung pwede sa dito sa Benguet yeah, dito uh, sa Benguet na sasabi ko na kung pwede ito yung gawin natin because we did have one time a, a, a meeting with our uh, tourism officers with different uh, line agencies uh, we have plans uh, planning on what to do for the next three years or two years kaya yeah, sabi ko how can we plan kung ganito no? sabi, kaya sabi ko I think and I believe na for for the tourism industry to flourish once again we need to retrain and we need to uh, reassess and reevaluate and at the same time if we need to segue and and uh, to, to do some paradigm shift of, of what we are doing right now then we have to do this thing sabi ko kay sa ating tourism officer uh, and he said this is a positive thing na ginagawa natin kasi at least wala pang hindi yung kalahatan eh uh, what do you call this uh, nahihila pa baba meron pa rin yung nag-iisip ng we need to project something very uh, positive yan yung ginagawa namin all the talagang natamaan talaga ang tourism industry 100% so para sa inyo talaga never give up never give up yes never give up kita ang nyo dahil tangan kina para akin to be you know planning for for uh, tourism industry here now. Christmas month, yes. So nga, and that's the thing to Something for you. Wow. Um, a little fun lang. A little game. Mm-hmm. So we have here uh, five words. Wow. Tapos, <laughs> kaya rami doon yung manong pagpun. At dito, kaya nga hindi ko yung palit term na dito. One word game. One word game. Okay. 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 One word game. Okay. okay. Would you like to do the honors? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our first word Our first word is Cordillera. Cordillera. Tied together. Tied together. Next one is Taraki. Mm, Taraki. Um, undescribable. Oh, undescribable. Yeah. <laughs> undescribable right. then. Third word. <laughs> This is actually related to sa sa kanya. Field. Culture. Culture. Uh, Never to lose. Never to lose. Culture, <laughs> never to lose. Sige, pagsigyan natin. Para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, he's also a father. So, the fourth word is father. Oh, father, uh, the greatest thing. The greatest thing at all. The greatest thing at all. Before becoming a father, kailangan meron itong term na ito. Ito ay ayat. Hmm. Above. 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 Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Thank you very And, much. Uh, well, last na to. Anong masasabi mo sa mga viewers natin na mga katarakis? Right. Message. Uh, yeah. Sa so, mga nanonood sa atin dito na sa Taraki TV, uh, subscribe, watch. Ang daming matututunan kasi I'm not the only one that is going to, that is going to be interviewed here. A lot of uh, even greater than me, bigger names than me will be interviewed. And I hope and I believe, no, oh, no, no, not hoping, but I believe you will learn a lot in uh, these two panelists. <laughs> yes, you will learn a lot these panelists. Why? Because <laughs> I, I was not even uh, prepped for the question. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even prepped for the question. <laughs> so, yeah, we're having to do it. And uh, congratulations to Rocky TV. You did it great. And for plug the ring of page, we know what the answer is. Ah, yeah. Ah. Uh, Wearing uh, my traditional attires or our uh, native attires or even say 
our weed, no? Uh, if you're looking for formal attires, semi-fun or casual, well, just visit our, uh, what do you call this, puesto or uh, store, shop in Taraki Building, Kilometer 5, Latrina Benguet, booth number 15. And I assure you, you will find what you're looking for when it comes to native attires. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank and you. of course, for tourism. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'm, 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 I'm positive, but hopefully, you know, I'm hoping na 100% tourism will open, not only here in Benguet, but even in the Cordilleras as well. Though uh, tourism is the one badly hit by this pandemic, mm -hmm. but Rest assured, babangon tayo. Babangon tayo. And we will do better. We will do better. So, ito contact ka na sa... Yeah, if you like to uh, have a tour guide, just visit our office at... Uh, um, what do you call this? JP Building, Kilometer 4, Lottery, that didn't get. Yeah. And uh, you will see there the car to go signage just enter the building and uh, the guard will direct you to our office thank you very much Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So that's it for this episode. And we would like to thank again our viewers for this afternoon. And most especially our venue for this afternoon or for this interview. Um, Tays and Cups by Zuanas. Dito lamang sa may nung nung road. Right. So, we'll see you again on next time.